Oh man, how am I even gonna do this? Just continue. Oh! Guys, it is time to get Death Nugget to his girlfriend. Yes, I have finally found a female for him. Now this, if you don't know, is a mature male Theraphosa Sturmy, the Burgundy Goliath Bird Eater. So yeah, today, in today's video, we are going to be packing him into this container, which I have prepared. So basically, it's just an IKEA food container layered with some paper towels over here. Quite a bit of paper towels I put because you got to make sure that it is secure and soft for them inside when you are shipping them in case the postman decides to throw the package or something. As you can see, I have poked quite a bit of holes. So basically, I used the soldering iron and just stabbed as many holes as I possibly could all around the container so the tea obviously can breathe. And now I'm going to be using the spray bottle to dampen it a little bit more. Oh my gosh, this is so difficult anyways yep just give it a nice spray doesn't have to be super damp that will be good enough let the water sip into the below there we go all sipped in and then i'm going to be putting another layer over here to cover him but yeah let's get him into this i'm going to be doing this i don't know how am i even going to be doing this <laughs> he is freaking massive you look at that look at that you guys see he's freaking massive and he is aggressive as well so i'm not exactly sure how i'm gonna do this this will be the first time i am packing such a large tarantula he is definitely my biggest tarantula and oh man how am i even gonna do this this container oh oh, oh my gosh okay <laughs> Oh my gosh, that is... I'll use my tongs to get him out, I guess. Oh, my heart. Come on, Death Nugget. Come on. Get out. Come on. Go. Move. Move. Come on. I'm gonna bring you to your girlfriend. Yeah, that's a good boy. Come on. That's a good Goliath bird eater. Oh my gosh. It's huge. It's freaking massive. Please don't kick hairs because these guys... Their hairs are not like, oh my gosh, they're not like normal tarantulas. Their hairs are actually painful, not even itchy anymore. They're like, okay, there we go. How am I gonna do this? Should I put this container in there and, oh my gosh, this container, oh no, 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 no. Look at how big he is, you guys. How am I gonna do this? This container is like way too small, okay. Maybe I can put this in here. I don't even know. Oh, no, no. Oh, yeah, he's kicking hairs. That's not good. That's not a good thing. Ah, uh, I'm gonna do this. Okay, wait. Let me get this and maybe I can slowly put him down. Oh, I'm sorry if you guys can't see, but hey, come on, go into the container. Oh my gosh, stop kicking hairs, please. Oh my gosh. Oh, I actually got him in. Oh, no way. No freaking way. I actually got him in. Oh. Oh, oh yes, thank you. Oh my freaking, yep. Oh, I can really feel the, 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 the pain. Yeah, it's a little bit itchy at first and then it's like, oh, I'm not gonna be scratching this. Do not scratch whatever you do. Tarantula kick hairs, don't freaking scratch it, okay? Cause you're asking for trouble. Anyways, let's see. All right, so there he is, you guys. Oh man, look at how massive this guy is. Okay, so now, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, that is pretty much it. I expected this to be a way more difficult situation. And, well, we have got him finally out of his enclosure. I will probably be putting another T in here. I'm not exactly sure yet. But as for now, this guy, he is going to meet his girlfriend and i hope you survive dude because i guess they are pretty aggressive as females as well i mean the females usually female tarantulas they can be pretty aggressive towards the male when mating time so guys let's fingers cross one like one prey on this video man i forgot to cut my nails it's kind of gross but yeah that's apart from this video um one like one prey fingers crossed that this guy survives and if he does survive hopefully the, the guy who I'm sending for a breeding loan to will return him back to me. But if he doesn't survive, then that's just the risk you guys got to take when you're sending your males off to females. Let me go get the other paper towel over here so I can cover him. Oh man, 
I actually forgot to close it. That was not a very good move, but good thing he didn't come out. And what I'm gonna be doing is, well, I'm gonna be dampening this as well. Something like that. And I'm gonna be putting this over the uh, lid and just, yeah, something like that. And now I'm gonna be putting it over Hopefully he doesn't bolt out. Okay, let's try this again. I folded the sides a little bit and hopefully, all right, hopefully, yeah. Okay, that's good. Now I just press along the corners, press down the corners. That should be good for shipping. I have pretty much secured it. See, I'm holding the lid and it's not falling off. I guess I'm gonna be putting him into the box and sending him over to the post office. I'm probably gonna like tape the sides just in case. Don't wanna take any chances. Maybe when they toss packages around, this thing may open back. So yeah, I'll put some tape. I've got the box like over here and it's a very, very sturdy box. It's actually the box that my sister's iPad came in. So yeah, it's very, very solid it's from Apple and uh, yeah, you can't even bend the box. So this is the perfect box for when you're shipping tarantulas. So if let's say, let's say, right, the postman decides to put something heavy on this box, it will not squish onto the tarantula, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. But yeah, guys, that will be it for this video. Man, that was a pretty easy rehouse, although I jumped quite a few times. If you guys noticed, I don't know if it showed on camera, but I did jump. My gosh, especially the first part. Yo, oh. that was like, <laughs> nope, nope. So yeah, guys, that'll be it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. And well, let's see what we have in the future. And hopefully we get an update on this guy. I mean, we will get an update if he survives or not. But yeah, I will update you guys in the the future. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Take care, stay safe, have a good one. Peace. I'm just going to be tearing off the sides of this uh, paper towel so that I can put tape all around this container. The reason I did this is so that I don't have to get near to the tarantula. I mean, the reason I put a paper towel on the lid is so that I don't have to get near to the tarantula. I can just straight away cover the tarantula with the paper towel. Usually other tarantulas, I will fold the paper towel and put it on top first and then put the lid. But no, I'm not taking chances with this guy. He is super aggressive. Yes, aggressive. When I say aggressive, I mean, I know tarantulas are defensive. Don't go telling me, oh, tarantulas are defensive. I know, I know tarantulas are defensive, but they can be aggressive as well. And by aggressive, I mean not running after you, but aggressive, like any movement, like when food aggressive, I mean, when they feel any movement, they will run towards that item. This guy, he is aggressive considered. So any movement in front of him, he will think it's food and aggressively jump at it.